Sixth grade, module four, lesson 27, problem set. Number one, use tape diagrams to calculate the solution of 30 equals 5w, then check your answer. It wants us to use tape diagrams, so I'm gonna come over here. This is the number one, so it's 30 equals 5w. So I'm gonna draw two tape diagrams. So we're gonna have 30 and then it's equal to 5w. So I'm gonna draw another one and put 5w's in them. So I'm gonna split it into five. And we have five. So 30 is equal to 5w. So if we were to take that 30 and split it up equally into those 5w's, each one, 30 divided by five is six. So each of these would be six. So we can see that W is equal to six. And we can tell that it works by checking. So 30 is equal to five times six, which is true. Number two, solve 12 equals x over four, x divided by four, x algebraically. So 12 is equal to x over four, x divided by four. So that's saying x divided by four. We wanna get x by itself. So what we can do is to get x by itself. Right now we're doing x divided by four. To get rid of the divided by four, we can cancel it out by multiplying it by four. So we can do x divided by four times four is equal to, now what we do on one side, we must do on the other side, 12 times four. So 12 times four is 48, and then these two cancel each other out, divided by four and times four, so 48 is equal to x. And we can check it, is 12 equal to 48 divided by four? Yes, it is. X equals 48. Number three, use tape diagrams to calculate the solution of Y divided by five equals 15. So this is number three, Y divided by five equals 15. So I'll draw two tape diagrams. We'll have Y divided by five. And then we'll have it's equal to 15. So what we could do is we'll get three pieces here. So we have y, and then we have y divided by five. And there's gonna be five of them. So y divided by five, y divided by five, y divided by five, And then one more. So we know that each y divided by five is, up here it said y divided by five is equal to 15. So each one of these pieces is 15. So that means that y is this whole, which would be 15 times five, which is equal to 75. We could show, so y is equal to 75. And we can check, is 75 divided by five equal to 15? That is true. Number four, solve 18z equals 72 algebraically, then check your answer. So 18 Z equals 72. Okay, so this is basically saying 18 times Z equals 72. So what I need to do here is since we're doing 18 times Z, I need to counteract that by dividing by 18. 
so that we can get z by itself. But then we also, what we do to that side, we need to do the other side. So 72 divided by 18. So we'll just have z is equal to 72 divided by 18, which is 4. So z is equal to 4. And is 18 times 4 equal to 72? We can check real fast. It's 32, carry the 3. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 is 72. Number 5, write a division equation that has a solution of 8. Prove that your solution is correct by using tape diagrams. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and write, um, let's see, 8 divided by, let's say 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. So there's a division equation, and I'm just going to take out the 8 and make it k. So k over 4 is equal to 2. So now we know that k is going to be equal to 8 because we purposely made it that way because we want it to have a solution of 8. But we, now we just need to prove that the solution is 8. So k divided by 4 is equal to 2. So we know that we're going to have k over 4. I'm just going to write it as k divided by 4 is equal to 2. So now we have whatever k is, and then we're going to have k divided by 4, 4 of them. And we already know that k divided by 4 is equal to 2, so each of these pieces is 2. So we can prove that this is 2 times 4 is equal to 8, so k is equal to 8. And number 6, write a multiplication equation that has a solution of 8. So now we're going to do the same thing, but a multiplication equation that has a solution of 8. So let's do like something, let's do like 4 times 8 equals 32, but instead I'm going to make it 4w equals 32. So 4w equals 32. So since I've multiplied 4 times w, to get rid of that I need to divide by 4. So I'll have 4w divided by 4, but what I do to one side I have to do to the other, so I also need to divide by 4 over there. So these cancel each other out, and we just have w is equal to 32 divided by 4 is 8. So w is equal to 8. Number 7. When solving questions algebraically, Megan and Meredith each got a different solution. Who is correct? Why did the other person not get the correct answer? All right, so let's look through what they did. So they both started with y divided by 2 equals 4. Okay, so we've got the same equations. Then Megan did y divided by 2 times 2 equals 4 times 2. So she multiplied times 2, and Megan or Meredith did divided by 2. Now, since we already used over here y divided by 2, to counteract that we need to multiply by 2 so that they cancel out. So Megan did the correct thing. Meredith should not have divided. So the correct answer should be 8. So Megan is correct. Meredith divided by 2 to solve the equation but she should have multiplied like Megan 
then if you want you can throw in there that this is because of the identity property that states y divided by 2 times 2 is equal to y.